first test I do with the batteries is I charge them up until they they are full and then I let them sit for a couple of days and then I check the voltage again and if the battery can hold the voltage I think it's relatively good and the bad batteries they will fall and uh, the voltage will go down and uh, I will put them into the recycling bin and then further tests will follow. You may have noticed that some batteries have been below 1 volt, so 0.8 volts or so. Uh, I had to charge them a little bit before I put them into, into this Lito color charger because uh, this charger automatically detects uh, what kind of battery it is. And when it is below 1 volt it thinks it's a nickel cadmium battery and that's of course wrong. So I had to charge them in another charger and then took them back when they reached at least I don't know, two and a half volts or so. The inside of some batteries is surprising sometimes. It seems there are two versions of this battery, one with more capacity and one with less capacity. So they added a spacer or maybe more batteries. I don't know.
When a battery pack is freshly assembled, uh, it can happen that you can't measure any output voltage. That's because uh, during the build procedure, uh, the battery protection circuit uh, has shut off and to reset that uh, you need to charge it only for a second or two depending on the battery state of course if they are completely discharged you have to charge it a little bit longer and then uh, the battery protector will reset and you will also see an output voltage again so in this uh, battery pack here we have four cells in series and always two in parallel so eight cells in total and that gives us a voltage of four times 4.2 volts and that's why i set the power supply to 16.8 volts with half an amp of charge current we could easily go up to one or two amps but for a first test, that should be enough.